So I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel, which is absolutely insane. Thank you everybody so much. And I wanted to make a video to help out any other creators who are thinking about starting their own YouTube channel. So I went out today and filmed a video where I'm gonna teach you 10 lessons I've learned over the last five years of making content online. So I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I thought I would celebrate by teaching you 10 lessons that I've learned over the last five years on how to make videos on YouTube. And I'm also gonna explain to you the secret that only the top YouTubers know. The one thing that all the biggest YouTubers agree is the only way to become successful on YouTube. And that secret is 720. Now I know that doesn't make a lot of sense now, but hopefully it'll make sense by the end of the video. Now I thought of a bunch of different ways I could have made this video, but what I landed on was telling you my own personal personal story, how I got my first thousand subscribers on YouTube and 10 lessons that I learned along the way. And to celebrate my own channel hitting 1,000 subscribers, I also decided to make a hopscotch that's 1,000 squares long, simply because hopscotch was one of my favorite things to do as a kid. Now these four squares represents my first four subscribers on YouTube. I know, right? four subscribers, but this is how many subscribers I had the first few months I was uploading videos on YouTube. The first videos that I ever posted on my YouTube channel were just videos of me and my cat. He would always do like stupid things on camera and I decided to post them on my YouTube channel. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you notice that my cats often make appearances in my videos, but my channel's not about cats. That was just the initial spark and inspiration for me starting my channel. Which brings me to the first of 10 lessons that I wanna teach you today. It doesn't matter if you don't know what kind of videos you wanna make, all that matters matters is that you start. Some people are lucky and that the inspiration for them starting their YouTube channel is something they're already passionate about, like cooking or exercising or music or bowling or whatever. But it doesn't matter if you don't know what kind of videos you want to make. All that matters is that you start. So this first 100 squares represents my first 100 subscribers on YouTube. And the way that I got my first 100 subscribers is an interesting story. So back when I had four subscribers posting videos about my cat, my cousin Jordan Baggio started his own YouTube channel talking about various different topics. So at the time, my cousin Jordan was putting a lot of effort into his videos, but he didn't really have that many subscribers. So I decided that I would help him by challenging him to a race to 100 subscribers. So we both started making videos for our YouTube channel. He eventually won, he got to 100 subscribers first, but it taught me a valuable lesson in making videos on YouTube, which is, tell a good story. Now I could stand here and talk to you for hours about what makes a good story, but I'm gonna break it down to you in just two main ways. The first important thing about telling a story is that your character needs to have goals. The best examples of this are in film. Think of Lord of the Rings. Frodo's goal is to bring the ring all the way to Mount Doom. Harry Potter's goal is to solve the mystery that's going on in his school. Or any superhero movie you've ever seen, the superhero's goal is to defeat the villain. If the characters in your stories have goals, then the audience will be more willing to follow along. And the second part of a good story is that characters need to change. Ideally, every good story has lessons, morals, and ways in which the characters have grown because of what they've been through. If the characters in your story have an emotional change at the end, the audience will enjoy the experience even more. So after the contest was over with my cousin, I spent an entire year making videos on my YouTube channel, and I got all the way to 300 subscribers. Now the videos I was making on my channel were video essays, and I actually had one video that did very well. It was a video comparing Michael Jordan and LeBron James, the two greatest basketball players. And this one video was actually where the majority of my subscribers came from. And after the success of that one video, I started making more videos about basketball. And because a lot of the subscribers I had were basketball fans, the videos that I made about basketball did better than the other videos that I made. And after a while, I came to a point where I had to ask myself, do I wanna keep making videos about basketball? And the answer I came to was no, I don't. Which brings me to lesson number three, which is make videos that you want to make. Chasing views, likes, fame, and fortune is not gonna make you happy. It's, it's, if anything, it's just gonna make you depressed and sad. You have, to, you have to make content that you feel fulfilled making that gives your life purpose. Which brings me to lesson number four, which is find the reason why you want to make videos. If your videos are based on some other goal in making the world a better place, your audience will wanna follow you because they believe what you believe. My personal belief is that I want to make videos that challenge the status quo. I want to make videos that have never been made before. And if you want to get your first thousand subscribers on YouTube, you should really sit down and ask yourself, why do I want to make videos? So after I hit 300 subscribers, I decided I didn't want to make video essays anymore. I deleted all of my old videos and I started my channel fresh. I changed the name of my channel to The Hoffinator and I made my way to 400 subscribers. So the first video that I uploaded to my channel 
was the Hoffinator was a video called Time is an Illusion. And I remember so vividly making that video because every day that I would film for that video, I just caught myself smiling every single day. Like I just, I just love the whole process of making videos. Which brings me to lesson number five, which is if you want to get your first thousand subscribers on YouTube, you're going to have to like making videos. Now, ideally you love making videos because if for some reason you don't, you're going to give up long before you reach any sort of success on YouTube. There's so much work that goes into making YouTube videos. And if you don't enjoy the process of making videos, you'll probably never get to your first thousand subscribers. So after I rebooted my channel as the Hoffinator, I started thinking of different ideas I could do for videos. And one of the ideas I came up with was going to a bookstore that had a random book vending machine. Now, looking back at that video today, I can tell you what the big problem was, is that I wasn't really authentic to who I am as a person. I wasn't portraying my real self on camera. Which brings me to lesson number six, which is if you want to make videos on YouTube, you have to be authentic. Making videos on YouTube is supposed to be fun. Making videos is supposed to be genuine and authentic, and it's supposed to be the real version of you on camera. So if you want to make videos on YouTube, I would highly suggest just being yourself. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so as I made my way to 500 subscribers, I started experimenting with a bunch of different videos. I made a video about doing a 30 day push up challenge. I made a video about a street that had giant inflatable Santa Clauses. And I made a video where I visited the 10 strangest houses in my city. Now these videos didn't really perform well, but they taught me some very valuable lessons. Because the problem with these videos was not really the ideas, it was more so the execution. You can have the best ideas in the world, but if you don't know how to execute them, they're not going to go very far. Which which brings me to lesson number seven, which is you have to be an amazing editor. Now there are some YouTubers who can get away with not editing their videos very well, but most of the biggest, most popular YouTubers all have really, really good editors working hard to make their videos the best that they can be. Now learning how to edit videos is a lot like learning a new language. At first, you're not going to be very good at it, but with a little practice and hard work, you can get better and better at making videos. Now I know my videos aren't edited the best. Uh, but you can definitely see an improvement over all the videos I've made over the last few years. Which brings me to lesson number eight, which is never stop learning and improving. Now I can't begin to explain to you how many thousands of hours I personally have dedicated myself to trying to learn how to make better videos on YouTube. I'm pretty sure this very video that you're watching right now is not going to be as good as something that I'm making a year from now or two years from now or 10 years from now, because, because I'm going to continue to learn and grow and try to improve my content day day in and day out. And that's one thing I would definitely recommend to anybody who's starting their own YouTube channel is you have to keep growing and improving your content. So as I continued to make content for my YouTube channel, I came up with an idea that I couldn't get out of my head. What if you stepped out of your house and you just saw an endless trail of bananas? So I decided to make a video based on that idea. Now that video is easily one of my least viewed videos that I have ever made, but it is easily one of my favorite videos that I've ever made simply because it's such a different idea, which brings me to lesson number nine, which is be different. So there's two general ways to make videos. You can either make videos better than other people, or you can make videos that are different than other people. Now, ideally your videos are both better and different, but especially in the beginning when you don't really know how to construct a video, it's going to be really hard for you to make videos that are better than other people, but you can always be different. So eventually over the course of five years of me making videos on YouTube, I got to my first thousand subscribers. Now I know a thousand subscribers is just a drop in the bucket compared to a lot of other bigger YouTubers, but a thousand subscribers means a lot to me. Now, before I tell you lesson number 10, I just wanted to personally thank every single person who subscribed to my channel. It means a lot to me, guys. With all the different ways that people have to watch and consume content these days, it means so much to me that you would take the time to watch me make my silly, stupid videos. Which brings me to lesson number 10, which is 720. Now, all of the biggest YouTubers will agree that there's only one real way to become successful on YouTube, and that is you have to dedicate yourself to improving your content every single day. So what if I told you that there was a way to make your videos 1,000 times better than what they currently are? You'd want to listen to what I had to say, right? Well, it all comes back to the number 720. So imagine you post a video on YouTube and it's not very good, but you post another video on YouTube and that video is simply 1% better than the first video. By the time you make 72 videos, your 72nd video will be twice as good as your first video. 
and your 144th video will be four times as good as your first video. And if you continually do that and you make 720 videos with each video simply being 1% better than the next, your 720th video will be 1,000 times better than your first video. And if you do make 720 videos on YouTube and each video is simply 1% better than the last, you will most assuredly gain your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody so much for 1,000 subscribers. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. And uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed the video. Say hi, Goose. Hey, no, no, don't touch. Let go of the camera. Let go of the camera.